Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the previous two tutorials of Primavera, we discussed about the changing units, adding currencies, and defining a calendar in the Primavera. In this tutorial, we are going to study what is an what is an enterprise project structure and how to create an enterprise project structure. So, if you are not familiar with this word enterprise project structure, let me just tell you its brief definition, and then I will explain it to you. Enterprise project structure is a hierarchy. that represents the breakdown of projects in the organization so this first line is telling you that it is a hierarchy which represents the breakdown of the projects in an organization for example you have a bigger project and you have to divide that bigger project into smaller sub projects and all these sub projects are to be assigned to some individuals which are responsible of performing that project so that breaking down of the project into sub projects and according to the tasks and the activities is known as an enterprise project structure so eps notes at the higher levels might represent divisions within your company so it tells you that it can either represent different divisions with in your company for example your company at the higher level and then at the lower levels are the divisions of your company or it may be project phases that at the top it is the, uh, the total project and uh, within the next step or in the different phases or the different levels will be the projects phases similarly it can be side locations or other major groupings based on the company needs and business practices so if you want to see an enterprise project structure you can just easily google that and click on the images you will be having plenty of examples what is an enterprise project structure and uh, if you might have uh, seen my other tutorials of primavera in which i have uh, told about the work breakdown structure and the organizational breakdown structure so you must be having a quick idea what is an enterprise project structure because the hierarchy is same in wbs and obs so if you have not gone through those lectures i think you should be uh, going through them and if you if you don't know about the organizational breakdown structure and work breakdown structure then you have to go through them so if uh, if i just briefly tell you about eps again so it is uh, you can say a hierarchy a breaking down of the topmost project or the topmost level of the project into different smaller sub projects and it also includes the responsible persons that which person is responsible for which sub project or which task which activity so that it can just represent the whole of the project into uh, a one a diagram or one piece of paper which can easily be understood by any person so the word enterprise this is your company project the project which is this company is handling and structure so this company's project structure if you just represent that in the form of a hierarchy you get enterprise project structure so this is the definition of eps now let's start with the primavera and in the primavera we have to see how to define an enterprise project structure and then we are going to further link the responsible persons with the different sub projects so let's define an eps in primavera so this is the first view of primavera and if you want to define a, an enterprise project structure in primavera ignore whatever you have here either you can delete whatever it is available here this is one canal house eps which i made for myself now i'm going to make a, let's say frame structure rcc plaza eps which we are going to uh, construct in let's say lahore or in maybe in different country uh, maybe in different city so for first of all if you want to define an eps go to enterprise then you can see here enterprise project structure click here now you have to first tell that where are you working now which country you are working which city you are working and what is the project phase so that is the detail which you have to give here depending upon the different uh, construction scenarios let's say uh, we are working in lahore karachi multan and then we have to add there that we have different projects in lahore different projects in karachi different projects in multan so how to add them we have already one city available here lahore which is under pakistan 
so if you want to add another city click on the button add and i have clicked twice so let's rename that this says multan double click here it says islamabad and we are going to click once more to rename that to karachi if you want to rename that that just double click so now it says that all of these cities are underneath pakistan so these are at the same levels now let's say we have i have added one more activity we have a project in lahore let's say one canal house and now i want to make this one canal house underneath lahore not underneath pakistan so i am going to use these uh, indenting buttons this is for the up button this is for the down button this is for the right and this is for the left indenting if i if you want to know what is indenting i have explained that in microsoft project tutorials these are available in in these videos of microsoft project aap wo ja ke dekh sakte hain you can go through them so i am going to click here to make this come underneath lahore as soon as i click here you can see here as well now underneath lahore there is one canal house which is already present here as well which i did previously so just ignore this one and you can see here if i want to add another activity or another project in multan i am going to write indent here and now you can see it comes underneath multan double click here and i am going to click here and rename that two canal project is in multan which we are working in islamabad i am also going to have one project let's say rcc frame structure we are having in karachi let's say we are going to have water treatment plant project let's say the text length is not enough so i am going to write here water treatment plant so fine now if i minimize and maximize them you can see these projects come underneath karachi now this project come underneath islamabad similarly you can generate a hierarchy of different projects which your company is doing you can have different uh, projects in different cities which your company is doing in this way you have to generate an eps if you want to see a chart view just click here and go to uh, you can shift from chart view to table view click and chart view you can see pakistan we have the responsible person is contractor because we have just assigned contractor to everyone <laughs> Uh, we have not assigned the organizational breakdown structure yet so the contractor is with everyone but the thing which you have to see is underneath pakistan we have lahore multan islamabad and karachi at these are at the same level and underneath lahore we have one canal house in multan we have two canal project in islamabad we have rcc frame structure project and in karachi we have water treatment plant project these are all our projects which we are doing at this time so for a bigger company or a multinational company you can easily see that how you have to define an eps so that is why we were saying this as a hierarchy in the definition of enterprise project structure now if you want to add activities in an eps which we are going to do in the next tutorial or you can say the coming tutorial so this is how you generate an enterprise project structure and that's it thank you keep watching allah hafiz